hey you guys welcome to my channel make sure y'all hit that like comment and subscribe button let's hit that notification bell if you are new here welcome welcome glad to have you yes hi to my haters aka clones and hi and thank you to my old supporters that been showing your girl mad love on and off her platform whether it's business related or not let's keep the energy feel free to check out my business channel tarot craft with business with the money bag and the tourist symbol when dealing with updates or any type of communication or readings everybody have different ways of reaching me y'all can go to the about section or the community board there's some email addresses in the about section i gave out some business cards if y'all don't know where i'm located at i am by the regency mall just hit me up because some of y'all have my um social medias and i will give y'all the direction i'm by regency mall in jacksonville florida okay and i just want to say thank y'all for the views the love everything y'all been giving me happy belated mother's day and happy birthday to my earth sign y'all knew that my birthday was may the 12th i had a blast like i was literally spoiled like my husband bought me so much stuff my friends bought me so much stuff he cooked for me and his mom i just had a blast like i said like he knew everything that i needed as far as um, a new desk for my nail salon, my miniature cooler for my drinks, for my suite. Then he knew I wanted to go out and stuff like that and get my hair and all that and get cute, you know. So I'm happy. Can't stop that shine, okay. So we finna do this motivating Monday, okay. So I'm gonna tell y'all, don't let... The smallest thing that a person does or say to you, get under your skin. I'm going to tell you that. You know why? Because they're doing it for a reaction out of you. If they don't put their hands on you, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? This is me coming from what I've been through. I don't have, like I said, people in their feelings about I'm married to this Aries and they wasn't chosen or what type of friends that I picked to choose and family and stuff like that. We all been there. It's 2023. We don't have time for that. Um, people did some spiteful stuff throughout my birthday weekend and Mother's Day weekend, but I didn't let it affect me. You know what I'm saying? I laughed about it. I brushed it off. I was in the middle of cooking with my husband, you know, and my mother-in-law and my mom and stuff. And I made some cupcakes, cornbread muffins and stuff like that. My husband was doing his part. We was cleaning up and doing it as we go, you know. And at the end of the day, I start school ever since this stuff took place. Like I started school on the 9th, so I go to night school. And I go to night school from 6 to four on okay and then i do my little shopping stuff like that and then i have my nine to five job and i do school online so it's really easy for me and i work from home while i'm at school online so this is what i do during the day i do the hair i do the nails i sell clothing and stuff like that during the day then i get home in time for my husband and my children to prepare dinner and stuff like that they get everybody situated for the next day of school or some or work or whatever whatever we got to do then i clock in then i get on my tablet or my desktop or my laptop whatever i prefer and do school I didn't do my inventory and all that. The same thing I am telling you guys is don't let people get you off track, okay? There's a lot of people that have been trying to do that when it came to me. That's why my circle is very small. And, like, my friends, they very supportive. My husband, everybody's very supportive when it comes to me. You gonna have people that don't know you, don't like you. Or something that you have that they want not to like you people don't like you for no reason you you feel what i'm saying collectives they don't like you because of you're thick or this or you got a business or you got money a nice car man they're lonely they're miserable you're doing everything people try to get a reaction out of you like i always tell you collectives because they're in your feelings when it comes to you don't let nobody discourage you at all. I've been there, done that. 
when I used to let every little thing get under my skin, this and that and third. But once I got with this Aries, he taught me that, you know, I have an ex from hell. So I want you to be prepared on how you react on things because she capable of saying this, doing that, calling you names and this and that. But I have not seen that up close. I have seen it through social media or through other people and stuff, but she never did it to me. You know what I'm saying? She been staying her distance from me, but she still be trying to be in some type of communication with people that's dealing with me in the Aries, you know, and that's the type of person that they are. I don't have people that comes and call me with their problems. Like yesterday, people was calling me with their problems like, oh, what should I do about this? What should I do about that? You know what I'm saying? Because people be asking me how you do it while you're being married when you have this toxic ex. Let me tell y'all something. Who don't have toxic exes? If you don't pay their ass no mind, if you don't even look their direction, if you don't even worry about them and you making your goddamn money, what the fuck can they do when it comes to you collectives? What can they do? They can't do a goddamn thing when it comes to you. But look at you and keep it moving, say something to you or keep it moving or however they want to project it when it comes to you. Okay. I've been on grind mode. I don't have time. I've been on grind mode literally and i don't let nobody get under my motherfucking skin i be on grind mode i don't have time for nobody else's shit i be on grind mode this is all based on tips not what people cash at me and stuff like i've been on grind mode i don't have time for that my husband ex is never gonna like me who gives a fuck who gives a fuck if the ex don't like you who cares just because they didn't work, just because their friendship and shit didn't work, if they friendship had got scarred or their trust and all that got broken, all that shit was before your time. They just put it on you because you're with that person at that moment. Friendships. Somebody might don't like somebody, but you're talking to that person. That person never crossed you, but that person might know how to handle you. You know what I'm saying? And like my husband told me, he said, baby, people stay out of your zone because they don't know what type of mood you in. They don't know how you're going to come off when it comes to them. You know what I'm saying? Even though they know they shitted on you or try, why would y'all want to be in somebody's face? Why would y'all want to have a reaction or some type of friendship or some type of connection or anything like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I be trying to figure out. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? And, like, when I was talking to my husband's mom yesterday, and she was like, oh, my God, I didn't know that you was doing all of this, and you got this going on, and you got money coming in like this and stuff like that, and you in school and stuff. Yes, like I told her, my business is not to be shared. You know what I'm saying? Because the simple fact is, we know that you in communication with certain people. We know this. Me and my husband had clarified it. You know, but me and my husband, we went in the room, we talked about it. He was like, babe, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Just limit it yourself on how you deal with stuff. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to be no closed casket. Or no closed mouth because of a fucking ex. I'm not finna be no closed mouth because of a fucking family member and shit, even my own. I'm not finna have no closed mouth when it comes to these people. I'm gonna speak my truth. That's what makes them respect me more or distance from me. I'm gonna either get it either way or another. You feel me? They're gonna respect me or they're gonna keep it moving and stay distance. Win or losing, it don't matter to me because at the end of the day, like my husband and mom said, they always come back to the ones that they try to portray and portray and shit on and all this other stuff. They always come back to us. We know that. They always coming back to us about every little motherfucking thing. This and that. This and that. Like they live in the best life. Shit. Married people struggle. Married people have bills. Married people got this. Even if you got kids, it's still going to be a struggle. Whether you got kids or not, it doesn't even matter. It depends on how you project your life. I project my life by limiting it and what I want to do in it, okay? I don't got time about... I don't got time about other things. About other people, places, and situations. 
unless they're going to take my advice and they're going to go with it. You know what I'm saying? And people, like I tell y'all, people don't like me because I speak up on it or I'm not letting them shit on me or I'm not kissing their ass or I'm not asking for a friendship or I'm not breaking my money, spending it, buying this and that. I have my mutual friends where I do stuff for. You do stuff for me, I'm going to do stuff for you. You support me, I'm going to support you. But when I see that you're trying to get greedy in the situation, I'm only going to give you one chance, one chance only. And once that one chance has been broken, that trust and all that, that shit is out the motherfucking window. When it comes to me, period. It don't have nothing to do with my husband and none of that. But I'm going to tell y'all, people wants to be in other people's business. Why? I know it's nature. But some of y'all just too fucking nosy. Y'all listen to people background. Y'all do this. Y'all do that. You know what I'm saying? Worry about uh this and that. Oh, that man gonna cheat. Oh, that woman gonna cheat. Oh, they gonna lose this. They y'all worrying about other people shit because y'all don't have what the other people have. Collectives or our haters or our cross watchers or however y'all want to put it. I don't let that project on me. I don't let that project on me. My enemies did not bring me this far with financial. They brought me this far with motivation. That's what they did. Your haters, your cross watchers and stuff should be your fucking motivation. Not your providers. Your motivation. The man upstairs is your provider at the end of the day. In your person that you're with. I don't sit there... And have problems with people just to make problems with people, collectors. People always have a problem with me because if they say, oh, this, oh, that, and then I speak up on it, well, damn, what you expect? You shoot the shot, what you think? I'm going to shoot it back, you feel me? I'm not going to be all he he ha ha like you didn't say this, but everything people say or do do not need a reaction i'm gonna tell you that because i'm gonna tell you my husband x did so much stuff to get a reaction out of me and i didn't even budge on some occasions on some occasions i did and some occasions i did it because my husband said you know she is a motherfucker that bark but don't bite so you don't have to worry about her that's not the case the case is she wants to make everybody miserable because her ass is miserable just like my sister and everybody else they want to be miserable let them be motherfucking miserable don't be bringing that shit over here fucking with our shit what we got going on we ain't fucking with y'all shit and what y'all got going on so why y'all coming over here fucking with our shit and what we got going on you feel me collectors because nobody is picking fights or doing nothing with nobody but my husband ex like i said came to my city and state picked the fight with me her and her people just because her and the aries did not work before my fucking time and you think I'm finna feel bad and guilty about a day that fucking work? Life goes on, bitches. Everybody moves the fuck on. She just don't want to move on. Yeah, everybody say, oh yeah, she watch your social media and stuff. So fuck her. She can watch my shit. What the fuck she gonna do? She can watch my shit. Collectives, I don't care about that. My shit is public. I don't give a damn. The people that fucks with me knows me. The people that fucks with me knows fucking me. She can watch my shit all fucking day until her eyes pop out the socket. I don't give a fuck. She ain't bothering me. I don't give a damn what she fucking do. I got the Aries at the end of the day. That shit do not matter to me. Y'all just letting, like I told my husband, everybody lets little shit what a petty ass motherfucker do. Petty. Just because they don't have no man or woman, no stable life and this and that, that's them. They just motivating us. That's it. Because my husband came back and told me that, um, oh, yeah, you know my ex knew I was around my mother around this day and this and that. We all knew that. We all knew that. Perfect timing to call and try to find reasons. Like my husband said, my mama need to change her number. That's what he kept saying. My mama need to change her number. My mama need to change her number. I totally agree. I totally agree. We was eating, enjoying ourselves, having good ass time, drinking wine and shit. She want to call. 
because my husband and mama been having the same number for years. She don't have me and my husband in them number so she can harass and bother us. So, yeah, she did. Me and my husband laughed it off. My husband shook his head and was like, really, mom? Really? And then she was like, I didn't know she was going to call me and stuff. I ain't talked to her and stuff like that. My husband was like, well, next time when you over here with me and my wife, don't answer the damn phone. Answer that bitch when you're away from me and my wife. Because we here having a good ass time. My husband said it just like that. Talk to the bitch whenever you want to talk to her. But keep me and my wife aura out of it. Go talk to her on your own time. Out of our house. That's what he said. Period. We don't want to hear her voice. We want nothing. You know what I'm saying? We just having a good ass time. And he said, babe, they knew that we was around her and this and that. I know. Rather you got in and outside kids together, nobody don't want to be in your fucking energy. And I was just laughing about it, you know, fixing plates and stuff with my husband and stuff. And my husband was like, I said, babe, don't even worry about that shit. He told my son, nah, because she trying to be messy and stuff like that. And stuff. I said, let her be fucking messy. Messy is what she is. Let her be fucking messy. You can't change a motherfucker when they messy. Let they do that shit over there. You feel me, collectors? Period. So, I'm fin to do some inventory and stuff like that. And then go on about my way. Because I have to go cook dinner and stuff like that. And run some more errands. But I had to finish up one of my clients today. This morning. And I will be coming back to you guys with a reading once I get situated and get home. But I just want to thank y'all for tuning in and stay consistent on what the fuck you do. Fuck the next motherfucker. They not bringing in you no motherfucking cheddar. Period. Just ignore that shit. You feel me? And... I know my husband said he's going to change his mom number and shit like that and clear out her call log and, you know, stuff like that. But like my husband and I figured out she's going to call on fake numbers and shit like that because she don't want to get traced and shit. So just let her do what the fuck she got to do. Karma's a bitch is going to catch up with her. Just let that shit go naturally. Breeze through your motherfucking hair. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, collectors, I'm going to take some pictures of my cuteness and then... I will be finishing up, cleaning up, straightening up and stuff like that and going to take care of my business. And I I will be glad to give y'all some updates on some situations. But come book with your Taurus. Go on my website and stuff like that. Just CLC Creations is the bomb. The bomb, y'all. So I'm going to go get my nails. I took the red ones off. You know, I did the red ones myself. I just did something quick for the weekend. And then I'm going to redo them. But thank y'all so much. I love y'all. And y'all have a blessed one. And stay consistent. Fuck the haters. Fuck all of that shit. And y'all take care. Bye.